एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई क्लास दिस इज़ रुमान अली आई होप यू फाइन इन टू डेज क्लास मैंने स्टार्ट लेसन एंड द नेम ऑफ आर लेसन इज सीट डिस्पर्सल इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर्स वी हैव सीन दैट रिप्रोडक्शन इज अ प्रोसेस दैट कैन बी डन बाई अ पार्ट कॉल फ्लावर सो फ्लावर इज द मेन पार्ट इन द प्लांट दैट हेल्प इन कैरिंग आउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ sexual reproduction in the plant the formation of the seed is the main aspect of sexual reproduction so in the process of reproduction we have seen that flowers plays a major role when pollen grains stick on the stigma at that time one process called pollination takes place after the process of pollination the fertilization is a process that takes place and in the process of fertilization we have seen that the male and the female parts of the flower gets fuses so after the process of fertilization zygote is formed and that zygote can produces seeds inside the fruit so in this way reproduction in the plants is a process that helps in the formation of the seeds and the seeds are the parts from which we can get the tiny plants so basically reproduction is a process that helps to produce new plants from the parental one in this way seeds plays a very important role in growing or in the development of the tiny plants so as the tiny plants can be developed from the seeds one process needs to take place and that process is called as seed dispersal here the word dispersal means movement of the seed from one place to another place or the spreading of the seed at distant places so seed dispersal can take place by many means and uh, the parent plant they cannot compete with the seeds for their proper nutrition for their different substances like food water and other nutrients in such a way they need to place the seeds anywhere else apart from the parental plant and there are many mechanisms by which the seed dispersal takes place and the seeds are of different shapes based on their shape uh, they occupy the means of dispersal so let us see what are the different agents that helps in the process of seed dispersal seed dispersal can be done through wind it can be done through water uh, and the seed dis dispersal can also be done by the use of birds and animals the dispersal by bursting of fruit can also take place and human beings are also the agents and they also acts as the agent in the process of seed dispersal basically there are five agents by which the seed dispersal takes place first one is disposal through wind second one is dispersal by water dispersal by birds and animals dispersal by bursting of fruits and it can also disperse through human beings so these are the different agents that are responsible to carry out the process of seed dispersal okay the first one is disposal through wind wind is the moving air so moving air can also be the agent in the process of seed dispersal wind can also help the seeds to move from one place to another place the seeds can get dispersed through wind when they are light small and bear some hairy structures so the seeds that are present if they are going to be light small and if they possess some hairy structures on them then this type of structure makes the seed to move from one place to another place through wind they can easily be moved to the distant places through wind there are some seeds which show some adaptations they possesses the seeds which are parachute like or white ball like structures so if the seeds are adapted these type of structures then they are going to be carried away through the wind easily so there are some seeds which show some adaptations their structures are like white balls or like parachute they show these adaptations in such a way that they can be carried away to the distant places through wind so this is about the process of seed dispersal with the help of wind wind act as an agent in the process of 
seed dispersal so if the seeds are going to be light small hairy or if they are going to be adapted uh, some structures like parachute or white ball like structures then they are going to be carried away to the distant places through wind now let us talk about the dispersal by water so we know that different water bodies are present like ocean seas rivers ponds lake all these are the different water bodies they also contribute in carrying out the process of seed dispersal so how can water help to take the seed from one place to another place so let us take one example here and the example is coconut so coconut is a fruit which can float on water and there are some other seeds which can float on water and as they are having capacity to float on water they can easily move from one place to another place through water so this is a fruit coconut is a fruit which can float on water and when you see the coconut trees almost they are found near the seashores because of the capacity to float on water these coconut fruit they will float from one place to another place when they reaches the seashores at that time they are going to be mixed up with the soil they move under the ground as soon as they get germinate they can give rise to a new coconut plant so mostly the coconut plants are found near the seashores as we can see that the coconut fruit can float on water uh, and can move from one place to another place they can spread at distant places with the help of water so this is about the process of dispersal by water and here we can take an example of coconut and some of the seeds they show some adaptations in their structures and that adaptations are they are fibrous in nature and they show some aired spaces because of these adaptations they can easily float on water and they can move to the distant places by water so this is a way by which the water act as an agent in the process of seed dispersal the next one is dispersal of seeds by birds and animals birds and animals are also the agents to carry out the process of seed dispersal let us see how so here some of the birds are present that eat fleshy fruits and some birds eat dry fruit in the fruit seeds are present so uh, after having the outer part of the fleshy fruits they can take out the seed which is present inside the fruit and that fruit is fallen on the ground at distant places where the new plants can arises after its germination whereas the dry fruits can also be eaten by some birds and animals and the seeds which are present in the dry fruit they show some hook like or thorny like and hairy a uh, type of structures because of this kind of structures of the seeds which are present in the dry fruit they can easily be handled by the birds the birds can hold them with their beak and when they fly at that time some of the seeds are present which are sticky also when they hold these kind of seeds in their mouth with the help of their beak and when they try to fly towards their nestings at the time before they reach to the nesting sometimes that seeds may fall from their mouth and they can fall on the ground where they move inside the ground the seed germinates and after the germination new plant arises in this way the birds are also contributing in carrying out the process of seed dispersal in making the movement of seeds possible from one place to another places and in making the movement of seeds at distant places so in such a way the birds and animals are also helping in the process of seed dispersal now there are some birds like crows myna and bulbul these are the birds that eat outer part of the fleshy fruits and after eating the uh, food canal is present inside their body that helps in the digestion of this fruit the seeds which are present inside the fruit that seeds will fall as the bird dropping some of the birds and animals are present that eat the whole fruit along with the seed and the seed can be dispersed in their excretory material some of the seeds are dispersed through animal excretions there is one more bird which is named as squirrel so squirrel its nature is to hide its food item so when it gets the fruit or some seeds and nuts they usually hide the nuts under the ground sometimes they eat that nuts or sometimes after 
burying the nuts under the ground they forget that they buried the nuts uh, under the ground so the nuts which are present under the ground they get germinated and after the process of germination new plants arises the different plants of the nuts arises at the distant places so squirrel is a bird which helps in the process of seed dispersal and after the process of seed dispersal when it gets germinated we can find the different trees of the nuts at different places so this is about the dispersal of seeds by birds and animals some of the birds eats the outer part of the fruit and the seeds are dispersed by them and sometimes they eat the fruit and the seed dispersal can be achieved by bird dropping and sometimes the seeds are dispersed through animal excretions and sometimes when they hide the nuts or the other seeds under the ground they get germinated and they can give a new plant so in this way uh, the process of seed dispersal can be done by birds and animals the next one is dispersal of seeds by bursting of fruits some of the seeds are present inside the capsule for example peas and mustard so their seeds are present inside the capsule of the fruit when we touch the fruit or when we uncoil it with the force at that time the capsule of the fruit can be opened and when we open it with the force the seeds which are present inside them they can spread all around at the different places or at distant places in this way also the seed dispersal takes place so this is how the bursting of fruits can make the seeds out next one is some of the fruits are present which can explode on sprinkle of water when we sprinkle the water on certain fruits they get explodes and the seeds which are present inside them they can easily come out of that fruit in this way the different seeds get spread all around or at different places either by sprinkling water or by uncoiling the capsule of the fruit this is how the dispersal of seeds takes place by bursting of fruits one more agent plays an important role in the process of seed dispersal and, and that is human beings human beings also plays a vital role in the process of seed dispersal so the dispersal of seed can also be achieved through human beings how the human beings are helping in the process of seed dispersal as i told you that uh, some seeds are sticky in nature so when we walk through the different fields the seeds which are present they can stick to the clothes when we walk to the different places at that time uh, the seeds which get stuck to our clothes they can fall down on the ground and in such a way the seed dispersal takes place through human beings also uh, you might have heard about the vegetable tomatoes which is not native in india when european comes to india to trade the different vegetables and fruits like guava and tomatoes at that time they left the seeds of these fruits and vegetables uh, which are not native in india as they are going to leave the seeds of such kind of fruits and vegetables the seed dispersal can takes place by this means also so european when they are going to return back after the trade of such kinds of fruits and vegetables they can leave some of their seeds by which the seed dispersal takes place so it is very funny to say that seeds also travel in the airplanes and ships along with the human beings but it is a fact that helps in the process of seed dispersal nowadays import and export of the different grains can be seen like wheat barley all such kind of grains can also be transported from one country to another country through import and export processes and during this process the seed dispersal can take place that means the seed can move from one place to another place through human beings also and some of the fruits and vegetables they show the number of seeds in them multiple seeds are present in their fruit and some of the vegetables and fruits they show only single seed in them why the fruits and vegetables shows the presence of multiple seeds in them because there are some seeds which do not undergo a process of germination so in such a way if some of them are non germinated the rest of them can undergo a process of germination and they can produces the small and tiny plants which can be grown
by the germination of seed. Multiple seeds are present in some fruits and vegetables uh, to undergo a process of germination. So this is about the lesson seed dispersion. In this lesson we have seen how the seeds can get spread from one place to another place or to the different places. This can be achieved by the different agents like through wind, through water, through human beings, through busting of fruits and also through birds and animals. So these are the different agents that helps in carrying out the process of seed dispersal. It is a very important pro process because after the process of seed dispersal, the seeds can get germinated and we can find the presence of different plants at distant places. So this is about the lesson seed dispersal. That's all for today. Meet you in next class. Thank you.